Hello and welcome to the barbecue. Today we're gonna make some kangaroo. Um, first off, we need to marinate this. So I've got three tablespoons of olive oil, three tablespoons of pressed lemon or lemon juice, one tablespoon of rosemary, one tablespoon of sage, one tablespoon of lemon and pepper, and one teaspoon of salt. Now we're just gonna mix this together. And there we go. So we're just gonna pour this over the meat. I'm gonna use your gloved hand, season this up, and then let this stay. We've got four steaks, and they're approximately a pound and a half in total. Anyway, so I'm gonna leave this in the fridge for an hour or two, and then uh, I'm gonna meet you out by the grill where we're gonna start off making the side for this. And we're outside. Okay, so some of you were expecting me to use my new smoker for this, but since they were steaks, the kangaroo pieces, um, I'm actually going to cook them on uh, the kettle because um, yeah, they're supposed to be cooked over direct heat. Anyway, uh, I'm going to use this uh, charcoal divider. Um, I made one for the getaway that I've showed in the previous video, and uh, this is for the logic that I have at home. Okay, so I'm going to be using my fairly new lodge skillet for this. And I'm gonna, this is gonna be very easy. I was uh, watching Tango Joe and he made this uh, garbanzo or chickpea um, and corn toasted thing. And I thought, well, I'm gonna make something with chickpeas today. So Anyway, so I'm gonna be using a little bit of uh, sun-dried tomatoes. I'm gonna fry up some onions in the oil from that. I'm gonna put that in there and then just let that cook down a little bit. Okay, I think these have caramelized enough, so I'm gonna move them over to the slightly cooler side. And then we're gonna get the chickpeas in here. Let them dry out. I will season this with garlic and herbs. There we go, I would say that's about two teaspoons. I'm gonna throw the corn in here. Regular sweet corn, green giant stuff. Oh, and of course I need a little bit of seasoning on this. There we go. I'm just gonna keep stirring this to get it to dry out before I add more liquid. Sounds stupid, huh? Oh well, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so it's been a couple of minutes and I'm gonna add the sun-dried tomatoes. These were actually dried sun-dried tomatoes that I uh, just soaked in some olive oil to rehydrate them a little bit. I'm gonna stir this all together now. Then we're gonna add the tomatoes to this. And I'm gonna just crush them. I like these tomatoes, they're really good. like so. There we go. I'm gonna move this to the indirect side and leave this to simmer under the lid or well I would think perhaps half an hour or so. so I'll bring you back once it's time to fry the meat. So the meat has been marinating for about I would say an hour and a half and then we're gonna take the steaks and just put them under over the heat. Kangaroo is very sensitive. You're not supposed to overcook kangaroo meat. So we need to get this off very quickly after it's been done or it's gonna rise too high and it might get tough. While that is cooking up, we're gonna give it about two minutes on each side. I'm just gonna add the potatoes into this mix and give it a stir coating the potatoes with the sauce. Kangaroo is done at 65 Celsius, which I believe is about 170, oh, it's 150 something. I'll, I'll check that out, 65 Celsius anyway. Uh, and um, you shouldn't let it go over 70 because it's gonna be well done and that's when the toughness might occur. Anyway, this smells really, really nice. It's been about a minute and a half. I'm gonna flip this over. The 
the cut I'm using, I might have said this and it's gonna be a repeat then, is uh, kangaroo sirloin. So it goes mainly under the name steak. So it's been about, I would say, three minutes per side. So I'm gonna temp this. It's only 39 Celsius, which would be about 115, 129. I'm gonna check the smaller pieces as well. 120. Oh well, I'm gonna leave them on there for a little bit longer. Getting nice char in it. Okay, so it's been about four minutes per side and this has reached 65 degrees Celsius. And I still have to look that up exactly. Forgot to flip the thermometer. Anyway, so we're gonna give this uh, a cut to see what we have. Kangaroo is very lean meat. I guess it's like game. Oh, it's very juicy. This looks like a perfect medium rare to me. I'll bring up those and cut another piece. I think this looks brilliant. Anyway, I'm gonna plate this and I'll give it a taste. Okay, I hope no one is offended. Anyway, this is our kangaroo eating plate. I'm gonna start off with a simple base of the... Oh, I did that wrong. Just gonna cover it. A little bit of um, corn, chickpeas and potato and tomato. And then we're gonna add a couple of slices of this. And there we go. I'm gonna take a picture and I will give it a taste. There we go, some kangaroo on the Weber kettle uh, with some side, but it's kangaroo that's important. This looks Smells really nice, a little bit gamey, but not bad in any way. Mm. It's not extremely tender, maybe I did overcook it a little bit. Um, it's very, very tasty. It's, it's actually really good, I'm gonna buy this again. Um, I'm gonna enjoy this meal. Uh, thank you for watching and tagging along with me. And tomorrow, uh, or whatever, the next day uh, after this video, I will uh, be using my new smoker. Anyway, have a nice weekend. Thank you for watching, bye.